hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this gorgeous beaded headband please be sure to watch the entire video to the end because at the end of this video i'm going to be revealing the exact quantity of bead i used to make this beaded headband then if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe please smash that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell to get notifications whenever we upload new videos to make the beaded headband i'll be needing my beads these are my beads this is size 6 crystal beads can you see and I also have the smallest size of crystal beads here. This is how you get to buy it in the market, like so. Then I have some sand bead here, but I'm not going to be needing this. So, should the case you want to mix sand bead and crystal beads, you are good to go. So, I'm not going to be using my uh, this sand bead, but you may want to use your sand bead depending on your budget. Okay, then I'll also be needing my Alice band. I'll be needing this particular Alice band. This uh, type that is covered with cloth or material is what I'm going to be needing. Then I'll be needing my beading needle. I'm using the size 10 beading needle. You can use size 12 beading needle. Then for this particular beading needle, I'm using the 0.25 mm fishy line. This is the fishy line that can pass through this particular beading needle. But if you have size 12 beading needle, you may want to use your 0.35 mm fishy line. Okay, then I'll also be needing my scissors to cut out the fishy line. I'm going to start by threading my beading needle. So I will cut some fishy line, then I will get my needle and thread it. Now, to make this process easy for you, after cutting your fishy line, you are going to flatten the tip of the fishy line with your teeth. Okay, so you flatten that with your teeth and then you pass your beading needle through that part. So that will enable you to... Um, to pass your beading needle easily okay so now i'm going to start beading i will get my bead okay so this is my fish line this is my alice band i'm going to get my beading needle with my with my fishing line, the one I thread. Now I will get my Alice band, and after threading the needle, I'm going to tie the other tip of the fishing line. So I'm going to tie like so. After tying this tip like so, I'll get the beading needle. Then I'm going to insert this bead, the bigger bead, into the fishing line. Or before I insert the bead, I'll take the I'll take the Harley's band and I'm going to pass the fishing line through the Harley's band like so. Can you see? Now I will get the bead, I will insert the bead into the fishing line and then I will push it to the Harley's band like so. Then I will string the other bead, the smaller bead. So like I said, you could use your sand bead okay so i'll string the smaller bead like so now i'll get my beading needle i'm going to be skipping this smaller bead 
and then i'll pass my beading needle through this bigger bead then i'll i'll pass it through the the alice band like so you just watch pass it through the Halley's band and then I will bring it out then you want to drag that firmly you want to drag that can you see so I'm going to repeat this same uh, process again I'll I'll string in one of this big bead then I'll also string in the smaller bead Can you see then i'm going to skip this smaller bead and i'll pass my fishy line through this bigger bead and then i'll bring it out from the alice band so you want to drag this very well now this is the ss fishy line the other time we tied so i won't cut that out so i can continue can you see that now so i'm going to continue like so so this is basically all we are going to be doing now i'll bring my fish line hat as you can see i bring my fish line hat very close to this bead because i want to continue from that point so you have to drag this firmly so that your work will be tight and firm. I'll get my bead again. I'll also get this particular bead, the smaller bead. Then I'm going to push both beads to the Harley's band. After which I will skip this smaller bead and then pass my fishy line through the bigger bead and then the Harley's band. I'll bring it out from this point. Can you see? So you have to drag that. So I'm going to continue from this point. I will string. Okay, this is the bigger bead. You string the bigger bead first, then the smaller bead. Then I'm going to skip the smaller bead. And pass my fishy line through this bead. Can you see? So I'm going to keep repeating this process to cover the entire Halley's band with the beads. If you are getting value from this video, please endeavor to comment on this video and also like this video. Commenting on this video will enable YouTube to recommend this video to other viewers like you who would be interested in content like this. So your comment is very important. And please also subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. So this is what I've gotten so far. When my fish line is exhausted, I will take off the beading needle and then I will tie the fish line like so can you see so you want to tie that for about three to four times then after you cut out the ss fish line and then you get your you get your fish line and thread your fish line so i'm almost done with my work can you see as usual, I will get my beads and string the beads into the beading needle, after which I will take to the Halley's band and pass it like so. Can you see that? So when I get to the uh, end of the Halley's band, I want to fill up those parts that I feel I don't have beads on. So that is basically what I'm going to be doing now. So you want to take your beading needle back and then you start filling those parts. See that part where I just touched? I'm going to fill that part with beads. Then I will also go to other parts I feel that I don't have beads or, or is a bit scanty. And then I will fill those parts with beads. Okay, so for this particular beaded headband, I used 
three strands of bead each. For the smaller crystal beads, I use three strand. Then for the bigger crystal beads, which is the size six, or you could even use size eight crystal beads, I use three strands. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to be passing my uh, beading needle to cover up those parts that I feel I don't have beads on. Can you see? So I'm going to uh, take my beading needle. I'll take it to this those parts and then I'm going to cover those parts up with my bead and then I have my beaded headband. Please note that the size of the Halis band or the width of the Halis band would also determine the quantity of beads that you are going to be needing. For this particular beaded headband, the size or the width of the Halis band was about one inch. Okay, so if you are going to be using uh, a wider Halis band, it means you are going to be needing more quantity of beads. That would be all for this tutorial. For those that would be interested in joining our online classes on headwears and better accessories, I'm going to drop the link in the description box below so you could click on the link to join others in the class. You can also send a WhatsApp message to the number on the phone screen. And please endeavor to like this video and comment on this video.